what's going on guys it's jason from g style magazine and i am back to look at another ford car or pickup truck i should say so this is the 2022 ford maverick which is the newest pickup truck in ford's lineup this happens to be the lariat model and again as we do in you know this week in the driveway we're checking out this pickup truck and this one is interesting because Ford already does really good on the pickup truck side. You know, their F-150 is the number one selling vehicle in the world consecutively for like decades now. Now this one, again, this one is interesting because smallest pickup truck from Ford drives like a more like a car, small SUV, has a flatbed like a pickup truck, a small flatbed and it has probably best fuel economy for a pickup truck and the price point that's going to be two of the biggest sellings for the ford maverick the base model pickup the base model price comes out at 19,995, just shy of 20,000. and the fuel economy with this model as configured has the hybrid engine um you're probably going to get i can't even say honestly um, I've been driving it for a week. Fuel economy has been great, but we'll get into all that. The question I want you got, I want to answer for you guys. I want you guys to ask yourself: Is the Ford Maverick at 19.995 worth it? Let's dig into that as we look at the car. At 19.995, it does have a very compelling price point that makes you want to step into a, a, a you know a pickup truck. My personal favorite, if I'm going to go small, continues to be the Ford Ranger. And with the way this is configured, to get everything you want, even messing with the configuration, I kind of just spec it out how I would buy it if I was going to get this. Even though that 19995 price is compelling, that's if you got the bare minimums. If you know if you want to add in a few features here and there, for me, that came out to just about. 39,000 plus so still pretty cheap for a pickup truck with you know all the good bells and whistles but the small cabin with the interior design choices and how you have to kind of just really tweak and nibble with the configuration to get it just how you want and still the price point that's still relatively comparable would you buy it I know popularly this is hard to get right now you know a few people i've seen on the street they said that they was trying to get this car pickup truck he's going on a car because it drives like one but they've been trying to get it and haven't been able to because you know just because of production and demand this is really hard to get right now so it is very popular and if you mix in the fact that with all the chip shortages and supply constraints that's been happening this is going to be a vehicle that is hard to get but does hard to get mean popular and does popular mean this is worth it. For me, the Lariat model is a good starting point. If you're not gonna be doing too much on the pickup truck side, then yeah, this is what you wanna go. You know, draw like a car, have some flexibility, have some options if you want to do a few things that require a flatbed. For me personally, I'm gonna get a pickup truck that isn't an F-150, which is still my all-time favorite F-150 Raptor. I'm going to go with the Ranger. I do like this one and no knocks to it, but it's just too small for me for a pickup truck. But my taste isn't your taste. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if this is something that you're looking to get. Have you had um, the opportunity to get one or are you having a tough time? Let us know in the comments. Um, I'm Jason Anderson, G Style Magazine. I'm about to go sit back in the car because it is cold right now. With like 24 degrees or lower right now. Probably feels like five. Um, but stay tuned next time as we go into our next vehicle. You know, we'll keep the show going. All right. G. Jason Anderson, G Style Magazine. Take care.